Oh, follower, follower. Nice one, nice one. Another meter pike, maybe. Oh, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Today we're gonna put tiny lures versus giant lures and see what will work best for pike. This is up next. Net, 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 Take the net. Masking style. Yeah, dude. Det är det absolut sjukaste jag någonsin varit med om. Alltså fy satan vad galen dag. Fy fan. One year ago we released our most popular video to this date, which is now close to 1 million views. And Mille, what did we do in that one? In that episode we tried busting the myth that bigger fish eat bigger baits, but it turns out it is completely true. Yeah, bigger was... fish love eating bigger baits. Yeah, it was no myth at all. Mille were crushing it on these uh, huge lures, catching a giant pike on this uh, bulldog magnum. Yeah, and today we decided to redo that challenge. Yeah, spicing have... it up even more, bringing some more juice to the party. Look at this bad Look at boy. This. We have a huge, huge lure, like next level huge lure hiding yeah. in this box. But more about that out on the water. Let's yeah, see. it's so big I can't even, like, how do you hold it? One of us is gonna fish with lures smaller than 10 centimeters, and one of us is gonna use lures bigger than 30 centimeters. Yeah. The last time we did this challenge, we had a full winter conditions with ice, snow, and everything, super cold water. But today, it's a beautiful summer day with sunny conditions, and we are here at Åland Island, which is perfect for this challenge. Because we have huge numbers of uh, you know smaller pike medium-sized pike which will be crushing these smaller but we also have giants who will easily swallow these uh, these big lures so i think this should be a perfect place for today's challenge yeah and that brings us into today's sponsor which is visit Åland. yeah thank you for supporting what we do you might have heard us talking about Åland islands before it's a group of islands located between sweden and finland in the baltic sea made up of like uh, six thousand yeah, small yeah. islands which which means that you have all kinds of different waters. Everything from like outer archipelago, super clear water, super beautiful stuff, to the you inner archipelago where we are today. Yeah, exactly. And you have great accommodation spread all over the island, so you will find a perfect place for you. Yeah. yeah. But what do you say? Boat in the water? Let's, let's, uh, hit let's it. go and catch them. <laughs> it's gonna Boom. be so much fun. Oh yeah! Let's go baby! Finally go. back on Åland! Yeah, this is gonna be so much fun! Oh, yeah, We have a fantastic day ahead of us and you know what my friend? I have a special surprise for lunch. You're, oh. not, you're not gonna be disappointed. I mean these ones are big but what's hiding in that package is uh, huge and monstrous! Uh, yes, <laughs> that is true. Let's make our way over to the other side of the lake and uh, then let's see what's in the magical package. Yeah. We're rocking it old school style today, no yeah. trolling motor. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. I would say we have around three meters of depth over here, which uh, should be good. All right, man, it's uh, windy, but it's a super nice summer day. Okay, it's unboxing time. Look at this. I've been waiting for so long to open this one. It's just to rip it open. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh my Ooh. god, oh my god. What's that? Fins. <laughs> oh my god. I like the smallest one of these are bigger than the lures you're gonna <laughs> be using. Lucky lures for unlucky pike about to enter the Volshanka boat. Oh my god, oh my god, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Moment of truth. I, I've never seen this. <laughs> oh, look at this bad boy. This one is huge. I mean, just have a look at this thing. It's bigger than Mille, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be... I mean, imagine the vibrations of this one in the water. Yeah. It is it's 40 with a squeezed fin. Mine got. This one is like 200 grams or something. Yeah. This one is exceeding 800 grams. This one is f***ing heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Bass landing it. Okay, so hooks. I found two hooks from an old, like, Jake. 14 inch muscular and it's still way too still small like a super under dimension but it's the biggest thing we have so we don't want to miss any fish today that's for sure yeah one of the few chances we actually might get but like we said we are, are at the water with quite a good number of, of big fish and don't you usually say that a pike can take a prey like half its size so this one is 40 we should be able to catch 80s with this like with yeah. not too much of a problem and a meter fish should just smash it for breakfast. Never leave home without your splitting plier. Super good. 
think we're ready to go. <laughs> this is gonna be insane. All right, time for Le Premier Lancé de Journée with this giant. I'm so pumped to see the swimming action of this guy in the water. Let's see. Oh, I'm like seriously <laughs> worried that we're gonna break a rod today. Oh yes, look at that. Look at that. They are gonna crush this one today. That I am sure. That is crazy. The guy who makes this calls this a trolling lure, which is probably the best way to fish it. But that just makes me even more like curious to see, can you actually cast this one? Okay, uh, the, the question of today, is the Gator Elixir giant bait gonna break or not? No, moment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> it's more. Uh, this is gonna be more difficult than I thought. Ooh. <laughs> There's probably a good technique to do this. Ah, increasing in length. It feels like I'm gonna have a strike like in any second. Okay, let's uh, let's get this started. Yeah, it almost feels ridiculous to say what I'm gonna fish with it, but I'm gonna <laughs> start. I'm gonna start with the baby hooligan. This is the new 6.5 centimeter long rubber bait we did in the hooligan roach family. And I'm gonna rig it on a Ned head so that it stands on the bottom. The contrast. The, contra <laughs> the contrast. <laughs> yeah, but soon we're gonna start the challenge and then it's only one hour until I get the fish with the big bait. So one hour on the clock and uh, let's, uh, let's start this. Let's start. Boom. Boom. Future is here. Challenge started, let's go. Mila, what do you think about running a giveaway of this bad boy? Yeah, let's do that. I mean, last time we asked for 5,000 likes, which is smashed in like a day. So let's aim higher today. Yeah, let's go for 10. 10,000 likes and uh, we'll give away this one for one of you. So let us know in the comments why uh, you should be the lucky one to get this lucky tarpon. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can catch some fish on it too. Right now we have 21 degrees in the water. So it's pretty hot, so maybe I'm gonna... Oh, I just had one, oh. just had one, first cast. <laughs> Perch or what do you think? Uh, Poisson? C'est Poisson, <laughs> first cast. Mille in the lead of the Perch League. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> welcome to Åland everybody. We're, there's so much fish, don't even know what to do. But, but yeah. it's uh, below bait size. <laughs> below bait size, it's food. way below bait it's size. food bait size, size for the bait. <laughs> 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 yeah, the bait can eat the food. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. The fish. Yeah, if there's food here, there's big mamas here. So let's see uh, where this goes. This is, this is a nice perch. Ah, it's a pike. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> First uh, brochet of the day, Miller. We, I think we are about four minutes into the competition and we have the first pike of the day. Okay, so size comparison. Ah, we're, <laughs> we're getting close. <laughs> Same freaking. Uh, let's but, get this small baby back to the water. Yeah, let's do it. I'm like, if we're gonna get a bite on this, like, how is it gonna feel? I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think it's gonna be nibble. <laughs> it's gonna be like a lightning. Yeah. Alltså vi kommer ha något jävla sjukt som händer. Det kommer komma upp en jävla åtta kilo så klippar den här lilla båtsidan. Alltså, fy fan vad det är coolt. Fish on! Fish on! Fish on for fish on. God's sake! It's not even a monster! That didn't, that didn't even take long! <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe this! This is like... <laughs> Let's put it in the net! Mission f***ing accomplished right away! I did not believe this! I thought we were gonna be... <laughs> and it's not even a big fight! Not even. <laughs> I mean, look at this! That was a high wave. <laughs> How long have you been fishing? 15 minutes? Yeah, you need to... Um... <laughs> so he T-boned that one. <laughs> Look at this. I thought we were gonna have to, you know, be trolling around all evening, uh, all around the lake to get a strike on this. And now we'll be fishing for 15 minutes in shallow water, in this clear water, and uh, this should not happen. I mean, this pike is not even twice the length of the lure. High 70 something. Um, this is so crazy. Really crazy stuff. I can't believe it. That take, you know, that take was no, no joke. If this size of pike wants to eat this size of uh, food, <laughs> he has to go for it. He has to he can't be like with power. Yeah, he can't like be sipping a glass of wine like, yeah, tasty tarpon this one, eh? <laughs> <laughs> tasty tarpon, eh? 76 centimeters. 
76, 76. So we have officially busted the myth that the pike can only take uh, food half their size. This one is more than half the size of this one. Crazy. Let's put it back. Man, that was crazy. I, mean, I, I was so much <laughs> expecting us to be like changing to smaller baits the whole day, yeah. but it took 10 minutes. It's not even 10 minutes. Yeah, now the challenge is gonna be to catch a big one on this. Yeah. Because I think if those pike are smashing it, we're gonna catch some big ones. We're today. gonna catch some big ones for sure. I mean, that was a 76 centimeter pike. It's not a giant by any means. There it's... are bigger ones in here for sure. Yeah. I didn't even miss the bite. I mean, the bigger the lure, usually the harder it is to set the hooks. Yeah. But, you know, first strike, first blood in the boat. So, um, yeah, awesome. Oh, that was fantastic, man. Yeah. Oh, man. And I still have some time left on the timer, so. Yeah, <laughs> let's coaching. continue back yeah. to water. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna be dangerous for the number point today, man. If I continue I like this. Shocked. One, one, giant versus tiny bait. <laughs> two one, to two one. Lures. You changed to the crank? Yeah, I just changed to the crank. We're coming in in a really shallow bay over here. So, uh, crank time. Crank time. Two one, tiny lures. Yep. But it was a cool take. Yep, nice. Both sides. Fan, we drive helt perfekt. Mm. Nu är det hugget nära alltså. Ja, ah, det är fjol där som smakar. Oj, 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 oj. Oh, fish on, fish off. Fish off. Pot on, pot on. That was a hard take. Yeah. Let's see if she takes it again. Fish pot on. on, nice. Anchor down, I think. Anchor down, yeah. I think we're getting closer a little bit in size. No, we're not. We're not. 70, no, not even 70. But now it's 3 1. 3 1. Well done, mate. Didn't you see my top one? Net, 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 <laughs> While on the subject of like how big lures can you use for pike? Oh man, this this guy had a lucky day today. Yeah. Here we can see where the other pike that just came and slammed this one has a jaw this wide. Yeah, I think we're talking meter pike list, right? Yeah, I, I'm gonna say 105. And now it's officially on the hunt for that fish because I mean, how often do you fish with baits this big? But it would, it didn't hesitate at all for this one. So uh, now let sick. the hunt. We have margin here, like. Yeah, we have margin, so let the hunt begin. This day is turning out pretty damn exciting. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Let's measure yeah. that one. Okay, JB, lucky lures. Next year we want the lure. Exactly 60 centimeters long. Okay, so three, one, two tiny lures. Au revoir! Yeah, that's why you go pike fishing on Åland Islands, man. Yeah, it's like, like 100% honestly, every time we go out, we have some insane memorable moments. Yeah. Last they're, year... They're like more or less guaranteed to have some nice action. I mean, there yeah. are plenty of yeah. pike, but then there are those big ones also spicing things yeah. up. <laughs> now, I mean, we're still on the first hour and we have had one pike attacking a 800 gram tarpon. We've had one meter pike trying to take the one I caught on the crank. Yeah. The, sick. <laughs> this is sick. Six stuff. And we have like, what? Seven hours left? Full day. Full day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's freaking catch. Let's catch that one. Yeah. You can feel it yeah. cook or anything. So that is the absolute cook as that you know what I'm on. Okay, my, my confidence in this lure has increased <laughs> a lot by you catching a fish. Uh, I mean, that, that one was exactly 50% bigger than this one. Your yeah, pike. Yeah. Oh. And we have this hungry meter pike somewhere around here, like within casting range. And I think it's not the only one. Oh, follower, follower, follower. Oh! Musk is 
style. Yeah, dude! <laughs> oh man, I was just twitching it once and bam! Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes! It unhooked itself in the net. That was not a boring take, I can tell you that. Saw it coming, saw it coming, twitch, bam! Oh man, I think we have a small upgrade here. Unhooked itself in the net, bam! Two, three, <laughs> to giant lures. Ah, there we go. Oh yes. This is an upgrade. This is an 80, I think this 80 is something, 85. 80, yeah. Let's, uh, Let's check it out. I'm gonna wet the board first. Board wet. Let's have a look at her. Yeah. What a nice looking fish right there. Beautiful summer pike. Look at those colors also. Super nice. We're looking at 85. 85. They're getting bigger. <laughs> look at that. Nice 85 centimeter summer pike here on Orland Islands. Absolutely beautiful. This is this is how we do it here. This is how we do it. We're the wind is so strong. We're like blowing up in the weeds here, but yeah. who cares? So let's put it back. I, These wonder, fish are feeding. I wonder what Ben from Kennelgratis.us would have thought about this. Yeah, I mean, my my figure eight there was uh, really yeah, on fire. Yeah. Kind of figure eight. Oh, there we go. Time is up. That was an intense first hour. Let's put one more hour on the clock and change rods. I'm gonna go over to the light lures. Miller's gonna do this one. Or are we gonna do something else? Yeah, well, I'm getting old so my back starts to hurt if I fish with that. So I have uh, another little surprise. Gator giant bait coming your way. Thank you. And I'm gonna go with the Bulldog Magnum. It has worked wonders here before. Yeah, like in the last time we did this challenge. Yeah. So now we're doing Bulldog Magnum versus a small Hooligan Roach June Bug color. Let's go. Let's try it out. Oh man, oh man. Oh, pike number four. Feels like a nice perch. Ah. Okay. Yeah, it was neither touch. Yeah, it was neither touch. That was neither touch. <laughs> So, nice. pike number four. Four two. Four two. Oh, like that. Eh? Whoa, what a take. Poisson. Huh? Nope. Missed it. Oh, following, following. Follower. Nice follower, big follower. Hobby. Big follower. Big, close to me there. I will uh, take it. Both side. Close to meter, if not to meter. It takes some skills yes. to get them to take both sides, but yeah, <laughs> I have not learned those skills just yet. No. Pop on, pop on! Finally, yes! Luca, you took that bait. Now we're talking. Yeehaw! Nice, Miller. Whoa! Oh man, that was a cool take. Oh my God, look, look, look! The tail is out. Yeah, I'm not Ricky Gottos! Nice, Miller! That was the take I was looking for! Yeah, dude! Yeah, I'm not Look at this! Jesus Christ! Woohoo! <laughs> Very fun, Stash, don't you? Yeah. All right, let's see. I think we might have the biggest fish of the day here. I think so too. What do we have? We have... Oh, 91. 91 for giant lures. Yeah. Bulldog Magnum seals the deal once again. Yeah, and now we're gonna throw her back into the water where she belongs. Yep. Yeah. That was sick. That was the bite I have been waiting for. She just took the whole bait. I mean, this bait is uh, like 40 centimeters long and the tail was just through her gill. <laughs> yeah. So now we have what? Is it uh, three? Four. four. Three, four. This is, uh, <laughs> yeah, we have I mean. three pike on these giant lures. I was expecting us to have one or maybe two. Yeah, I thought we were going to have like a 10 to 1 ratio. Yeah, small, 10 to 1, 10 to yeah, 1 ratio. Yeah. 10 uh, pike on the smaller, one on the giant and then repeat. Yeah, and now we have 1.25 <laughs> ratio. <laughs> Quite a big difference. Yeah, the, and the day is far from over. So yeah, let's is. keep casting. Oh, okay. Nice little pike here, pike number five on small lures. Oh, they are so strong. This is a fat one. Ah, look at those teeth, man. There we go. Oh, this is the fattest pike of today. Look at that. 
Clearly the, the biggest one on the small lures. Look at his belly. That's a chunky fish right there, dude. Yeah, it has a chunky fish in the stomach too. Yeah, I can actually see it in the throat. You know what? This is a baby pike. Even though small pike are having <laughs> pike for lunch today, I can feel the head of the pike here. Okay. <laughs> it's rock hard. Oh, it's a nice fish. 70... 77. 77. What a fat pike. 77 centimeter pike. Awesome, let's put it back. Nice. Changing time. Okay. Nice. Giant. I'm gonna... We... Now we're fishing again. Fish on! Oh. And that's 6-3. What a nice pike. Let's get her back to the water. Perch. Perch. Nice, man. Oh, oh, look at this for a guy. Yeah. You'll get there someday. Bye-bye. All right, we're gonna go in for some lunch. But to make it to our lunch spot, we need to go through quite a narrow canal. So we're gonna do some high speed fishing while Millie's driving. This is super fun. Ah! Fish on! <laughs> I love this. That's like trolling, but the other way. That's a nice one. Put on a monkey shad 14 centimeter. This one was not in the challenge because uh, yeah, that's a medium sized lure. Au revoir. Lunchtime. Found ourselves a very beautiful island here. This will be super. Perfect. <laughs> 10 points. Jamilis, what are we having? Today we are having one of the most simple but most delicious dishes I know. We are going to have cured salmon with uh, boiled potatoes together with some cream and some dill. It's so simple, but you can't believe how delicious it is. In this package right here, we have uh, salmon that I've actually caught myself 15 minutes outside of here on the beautiful Åland Islands. The salmon fishing here is fantastic. So that's what's up for dinner today. Like I said, it's simple, but so delicious. That looks absolutely amazing. It oh, does. Oh yes. Yeah, and on this beautiful spot, the V-boat is parked right outside here. That's perfect. This is a perfect day in life. Yeah. We are almost there. We just need to cut some salmon. That looks delicious. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Look at this plating actually right here. Does it get better than this? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Let's go then. <laughs> <laughs> you are a freaking genius, Miller. Yeah, I know. Potato game on top and salmon. All right, see you guys back at the water. That appetite was very bomb. So now it's pike time again. Ah, best lunch right. ever. That was a fantastic day in life. Yeah, thank you, beautiful island. And we're back at it. Gotta try another for the big lures. The Mira's mouse rigged up with a net and lock and making it a total of 35 centimeters. So now it is approved for this competition. Let's see. Well, I want to see a big pike coming up and explode on this. Yeah. Oh, fish on! Oh, nice big one! Big one! Big one! Nice one! Ooh, yes! I knew this Muras was gonna work. Muras nettle combination. There we go! There we go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this beautiful spot. Oh look my at god, this. look at that. Look at this. Oh, damn! 105 maybe? No, that big? 90? Also, tip, let me at the fish. True. Let me at the... <laughs> right after lunch, man. Look at this beautiful, beautiful summer pike. Ah, oh, change to this uh, nettle, muras combination in black, uh, parrot colors, super strange. A uh, few casts after lunch and then bam! <laughs> I mean, this That's is sick. just crazy. This is crazy. Let's uh, let's give her a quick measurement and then put her back. Oh man! I, mean, I told you. What the heck? I just told him that it's a meter fish and it it's a 103 in the bag. Yes, yes, it's 103. It is. Approved. 103. Dude, how crazy is that to finish the day off? <laughs> we have like one or two hours and we got a fish left. Yeah. I mean, she's not very fat, but she's long and she's very beautiful. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's put her back and catch a few more. <laughs> four, four, seven. Four, seven. Ah. <laughs> Clear water and sunny skies. You need to use small baits, they said. Preferably natural colors, too. <laughs> and here I am, like a fire tiger colored Euros mouse. 
Like this is honestly pretty crazy. But I think it shows that like a lot of times you have like perceptions of how things should be. Yeah. But to like try stuff you otherwise wouldn't can sometimes really be game changers because on a regular day you wouldn't fish bait like that. On no, like I this. would go like uh, Hooligan Roach Junior maybe. Yeah, me too. Oh, follower, follower, nice one, nice one. Another meter pike, maybe. <laughs> you see? Is it the same one again or what is this? Did you see that fish? <laughs> this could be the same one again. Is it? <laughs> what the actual heck? What was that? He, he was following from like all around, like didn't care about the anchor line or anything. <laughs> I'm 90% sure this is the same fish. I'm uh, 147. <laughs> <laughs> But you must have thought we treated him nicely or something. Yeah, like, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> what is yeah, this? it has the fin. Um, well, okay. Okay. Thanks so much. A I'm quick so... look at her and then put her back again yeah. and then we leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, we need to check the length to make sure. So, wet the board again. Even though it was still wet because we caught this fish three minutes ago, maybe. <laughs> What the, the, the what the what the I don't know what <coughs> Well how do you like oh tails Well how did you like my musky moves there playing it <laughs> halfway around the boat uh, our new colleague Ben over in the States would be very happy with us over at uh, Canal Gardens.us musky angler that's the in, second musky fish of the day. <laughs> yeah, if you're into musky fishing, you need to check out his channel or our channel. He's he's on our team now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this felt so much like a musky. But uh, now, moment of truth: is it the same pike or not? It is the same, it almost is. surely. Yeah. So I have same wet. rock. Yeah, same fin back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It and is. Yes. Um, Quit playing around with that. Just throw her back yeah. to the water. But it was a good. Catch and release works. Imagine if we <laughs> would have killed that one. Yeah, exactly. This okay. is like in the competition, would this count as two fish? I'm not sure. Depends on the competition. Depends on you have a GoPro rolling maybe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Depends yeah. on if you play it like that. And then yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take. I mean, but what if she takes again? Then, it's, then we're out of here. But we just had a couple of followers too. Yeah, but I think we take up the anchors of drifting away. Yeah, let's do that. He's gonna take again. <laughs> Chris Pike. That's the good thing here with the Walland Islands because there are so much waters, not too many anglers, so these fish are not very used to anglers. Depends, of course, on where we go. There are areas with higher fishing pressure, but out here, like, I can't see any other angler. So, uh, this is yeah, it. it's a fantastic. We really, really can recommend this place for to for people. Yeah, and another good thing with the Walland is that since there are so many different waters, there are lots of different kinds of waters too. So now in summer, you know, the fish are migrating out closer to deeper water, cold water, uh, like the place we're fishing now. We have open ocean right outside there, big schools of herring. So these fish always have different habitat to live in, depending on the time of the year. And it doesn't hurt that they're so beautiful too. No, and if you go here for the first time and you're not really sure or where to start it's a good idea to hire a fishing guide actually just for one or two days i mean if you're here for a week you can go out with a guide the first few days and then go by yourself yeah but. all of the many cottage rentals around Åland have rental boats too for a very, for a cheap price yeah and combining a fishing guide with fishing on your own that's like the best of two worlds yeah now it's five do we count it in our challenge five seven yeah of course we do <laughs> five, five seven, seven. Insane. And, and again, like those big lures really sort out the bigger fish. It, it yeah, like. it's insane. 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 Okay. Uh, yep, let's go. Alltså, fy satan vad galen dag. Fy fan. Vad fan händer? Och vi bara får inte lalla och käkar potatis och lax och... Ser den? Ja. Sight fishing with a drone. High tech stuff. Men det kommer, det kommer, det kommer, det kommer, det kommer, det kommer. Det kommer. Are you far? Yeah. For real? I can't see anything. This is so cool. It stopped right under my drone. There's a pike. <laughs> There's a big pike. This is f***ing cool, man. Was it close? Pretty close. Okay, I cast again. Cast side arm. Yeah. 
Oh no, it's more... It's coming to it. You still see it? Yes, I see the pike. It's coming. No, it's not coming. It's coming. Alltså den här jävla f*** drönaren, se hur den håller på. Ja, ah, ska den. Åh, oh, no! F***, did you see that? No, we didn't. Ah, I did. I was twitching this one, another like... Uh... Oh, pie coming, pie coming! <gasps> no, did you see that? That was so freaking cool. Woo. Holy shit, I'm shaking. I cannot believe it, I mean, look at this. Super clear, super shallow water. And we have big pike in here. It's like one and a half meters, but you can see with zero problem down to the bottom. Yeah. So many rocks and stones and just absolutely stunning scenery right here. Yeah. Oh, big follower, big follower. Look at that chunky pike. It's over here. It was really wide. Come on, you want that hooligan roach, I know it. Men du, det här är sjukt också. Jag har exakt noll kontakter. Och du har ju fan följare och hugg. Det är galet alltså. Oh, no! I saw the plow again. Like, coming up from behind. That was a decent pike. I don't understand why they're not biting on those small lures out there. I mean, look at this. I don't These conditions are like... The only time I would say like, okay, well maybe here... A big lure wouldn't really be the best choice. Yeah. It's it's like, dude, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, follow. You see the flow? See the flow? It's coming from behind, real fast. Oh, he's coming, he's uh, coming. It's turned, it's turned. Yeah, uh, there's another one behind here. There, there are two of them. Okay. You see that? It's following. It's following. Uh, do that again. Do that again. I think she can see it on the bottom. Out again, out again, fast, fast, fast. So freaking cool, stuff. cool was that. So freaking cool it. Okay, let's hunt that one down. Do I have one behind or? Yeah, I have, I have. Look at that. It's probably the same. No, it's not. It was, um... Oh, uh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, this is so <laughs> dense. There's one there, one take, there. Take that one, take that one. I think I'm gonna lose this one. <laughs> this is a nice fish. Yeah, take, can you take the net for this one? Yeah. Oh, she is angry, this one. Look how beautiful that is in this clear water. It's it's a pretty big fish, actually. Yeah. Taking line for net rig. Look. <laughs> again, um, baby, am I cool? My, um, look what a beautiful pike. Yeah, no Thank more. you, my friend. Put the anchor in there, we're gonna steal the other one. Yeah. And this is one damn beautiful pike. Look at that camouflage. <laughs> exactly the same color as this bottom. This pike was standing in here. Couldn't resist the hooligan roach uh, micro. Yeah, uh, this is the micro the one. Smallest one. On a net rig? On a net rig, yeah. But what a fantastic fight on this rod in these conditions. Yeah, almost a double take there. I had one following you. Had yeah. Can and you know what? This is not a small archipelago pike. Oh, this is a nice one. But this is very interesting, man. Because, you know, it's been really windy today. Yeah. And I've been smashing it on the biglers. Now the wind died. And bam, bam. Boom, boom. The smaller right away. I yeah. haven't had a bite now since the wind died. Nedrig, hooligan roach, tiny. Not a bad day in life. Not a bad day in life. Really nice. Okay, okay I think it back. it's time for us to put it back. Oh man, we really found a nice spot right here. Follower. There we go. Now it's six, eight. Crazy stuff. Might be one of the last fish of the day. Because soon it's time to head home for dinner. Okay, so now we have a few minutes left. Pontus just had another fish hitting his muras with hooligan and I don't want to do any more small lures so I'm gonna try this one. This is a Canadian one. Waterwolf Shadzilla. Okay, let's do a couple more minutes. Oh, fish! Oh, nice one! Ooh, quite okay. Now it's finally my turn to make you come with the net. Ah, 
Nice fish, man. Not bad at all. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Look at Look that. Look at that, man. How cool is this? Musky style. Oh, man. <laughs> well, sort of outside the challenge. but Yeah, well, uh, not not sort of. It is out of the challenge. Yeah. The challenge was huge versus tiny lures, but I, I could not resist fishing with water wolf. Dude, how cool is this? Man, you guys should definitely go and buy yourself a heavier rod and get some heavy ass lures because sometimes it can be the trick. Yeah, I love the campaign right now. Look at that pike. Oh, it's a nice fish. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, it's the heaviest fish I've caught in a long time. Yeah, this one is way heavier than the one I caught, but yeah. I'm not sure it's uh, as long. I don't think it's as long either, but what a nice fish. Wide back. What a perfect fish to and finish off this day. Yeah. Sick. Could that. not be any better. Okay, let's uh, measure it. First. Perfect hook at the side of the mouth. One hook. Mosky style once again. We yeah. should go over to Ben one day and Yeah, do we this. need to do that. Let's see. It could be my first meter fish of the year. Yeah. I don't think it is. I don't know. 96. 96, but still my biggest fish of the year. Yeah, like I said, I think it's way heavier than the one I caught still. Yeah, way heavier. It has some chunk to it for yeah. sure. Okay, yeah, let's yeah, get it back. Effective. What a perfect ending of the day. The last like four minutes we're gonna fish. Yeah, we did like yeah five minutes of fishing, you know, both of us using the nurse. Oh. I mean, when you have cracked the code, why not use the code? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, there she goes. Bye bye, baby. <laughs> what a perfect freaking ending. Oh man, I think that's gonna have to be it for today. I'm lost for words today, man. Yeah, that, that was the craziest day I've ever had. We yeah. always try to do fun challenges to spice things up. But when the fishing is this good, I mean, what more can you add? Yeah, so final score of the day was 8-6. Eight, 8-6 six. Eight, six. to the tiny lures. But with that last pike, it's 8-7. It made oh, really? them sure I'm never going out with these uh, giant baits again. W without those. Without, baits. Yeah. without those baits again. Yeah. It is, what a game changer. Yeah, I'm still shocked that I even caught a fish uh, at all, like had a strike or follower or yeah. something on this. And then we had the, the, like super cool action on these lures. So oh, that was crazy. A perfect day in life has ended. <laughs> Um, we can once again recommend you guys to go here to Åland. It's just one hour drive from Stockholm and then a two hour ferry. Yeah, and then you can you're have here. your dinner, it's super nice. Yeah, you and can here also... you have all you need. You have accommodation, you have boats, you have grocery stores. Literally everything you need. Anything else to add? Or... Thank you very much, Visit Åland. Yeah, thanks once again. They are the ones who made this video and this memory for life possible. Yeah. So thank you very much. We're gonna come back for sure. Yeah, last but not least, uh, we're gonna discuss this video over on our Discord channel. So check out the link in bio and we'll see you guys there. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't Thank forget you for to... your fantastic lunch today, yeah, man. It was no epic. Problem. Yeah. See you in the next video. See you. Tight lines. Bye. Ciao.